Mm. You know what, you guys? I'm, I'm expecting a phone call because I got a couple videos today, y'all. Oh, Lord. We can go back to my dysfunctional chronicles. And I got a good episode for y'all today. But until that phone call comes through, um, you know, these sympathies for Donald Trump, our president, is really beginning to be scary, bro. It's really beginning to be scary. Because we have a guy that is putting everybody in danger with the COVID. And he's taking risks with the Secret Service men. They're not liking this. He, you know, he rips off his mask and he's short of breath. Um, these crazy messages, you know, people are having to be quarantined because of him. He won't stay away. He's ripping off. The guy at this point is really scary. And I'm, I'm like, Y'all just don't know Donald Trump probably has got a death wish because of all the garbage that he's he's done. He's got to pay the piper. He know what time it is, so he's probably hoping that I don't know what's going on. Really, to tell you the truth, and I don't mean to be disrespectful to anybody. I'm just trying to let y'all know. At this point, I don't know what to trust. He probably is, this is probably a Harry Carey mission. The guy is going to go to jail. He's going to lose the election. He might can't take no more of this drama. His heart, everything that is goes wrong when you are in too deep begins to unravel. And he's too crazy to stop himself. And something about the world is on a track that is about to derail. And here's what I don't understand. And I hate to even bring these people up in the same um, breath, but I have to. The last video that I saw with Alex Jones on his show, and when he had Farrakhan on there, and I know a lot of y'all want to talk bad about the minister, and I, I rebuke you every time, because you couldn't hold his job strap, and there's no way in the world, whatever he's done, I know he served black folks for over half his life. So I'm, I try to hear about, and I'm not neither am I trying to get people to hold me accountable and responsible for uh, some things that I might have said when I was like 18 or 19 or 21 or 22 um, that got one of my friends hurt. Okay? Young people do crazy stuff. So any one of y'all who come over here and start do the one on me because of that. First of all, let me stop you. But to mention Alex Jones, and both of these guys are off the air, off YouTube, for that matter. Off of the social media, I guess. What I don't understand is how you can resist believing that he said we're going to go to hell in a handbasket if we elect this guy. Now, that right there is enough to make you go, oh. But the sycophants, the people, the cults, I've never, I've never experienced this before unless it was Jim Jones or a Hitler movement. This is what this is reminding me of. Where a guy was out there going, I'll give my life for you. I'll die for the Fuhrer. I'll, I'll give my anybody mess with the president. President, mess with me. And I'm like, this guy will even you know, allow you to get the poop off his shoe. He looks at you lower than that. And you're so stupid. But he's so narcissistic and charismatic. He's got you believing that you're a part of him. He's a real team. And when I saw that, well, it takes it every few years to have a narcissist really that can get the society to do the things that you know, John Koresh's, um, I'm not 
start making Donald Trump and then you know his audio will be offended by that. You know, I'm I'm just speaking from my heart. A lot of you guys haven't have lost the ability to even um see your own self and I'm just I'm not even trying to I wouldn't even try to change you, I wouldn't even try to say anything to you because you're like one of those cows with a ring through your little pant pool. It's just that simple. When I saw from uh, DT in that that moment that he pierced the gospel for breath after he was tearing off his mask on his return to the White House, I mean, when I saw that, it seems he's trying to give the impression that he's so strong, you guys. So, if he can do that, oh, he's so damn gone off the rail. This ain't medicine, whatever that man is. Um, to make you think crazy, this man is already um, has personality and narcissist, severe personality, psycho disorders. He don't believe the sisters. He don't believe the people who side by side with him. So this is the epitome of an antichrist. You know, he makes evil fair seeming. Say anything, you know. There are some people who probably feel that way um, about Martin Luther King, for that matter. Even though know, the top of his agenda was love, and I'm gonna love you for all of this. There were still some people that saw him as a threat. When they killed him, they killed him. What do we do? The government. Because it traumatized me as a kid. It traumatized me. And we are constantly traumatizing the next generation, the next generation, the next generation. And where we learn from we don't even get a symbol of normalcy with somebody this disordered. see a lot of things in too because I already my flag and my videos are and, and telling me I'm not you know hurting all of y'all feelings and stuff like that. So I'm not I'm speaking from my heart but I was you know, choose my words very carefully because I had that responsibility. And I want my words to be um I don't want them to come back void. So if I go here and I'm gonna register my words that will happen. So I'm just saying to get to the building with Marine One as a backdrop, the pilots had had risked their lives to transport him. He filmed the campaign ad. The clip was released on Twitter shortly after he returned home, and Trump said, "Maybe I am not be home." Doctor said Trump appears to be having difficulty breathing despite his claims that he was feeling great. I told you. to not be afraid of the disease led to a wave of criticism from medics and politicians. Joe Biden said Trump was responsible for his infection and blasted the macho attitude that avoids masks. The president left Walter Reed after spending three nights at the hospital being treated for COVID. He walked out the door at 640 with a wave, a thumbs up, and a fist pump for boarding Marine One. Marine One. At 6.45 p.m., the helicopter took off from Bethesda, Maryland facility, and flew back to the White House. Marine One landed at 6.55 p.m. on the South Lawn. 
Marine One crew will have to isolate now for 14 days. Got the helicopter. We'll have to be deep collected. The shipper will continue at the White House, but doctors on the river said he's nowhere out of the woods. He has received four doses of remdesivir and will receive his tenth and final one on Tuesday at the White House. This is insane. This is insane. And it's showing me just a complete utter isolation. Is at the point where, again, let them keep kicking. Jim Jones. Wow. Wow. This is a charismatic narcissist. And, uh, Really, 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 really better buckle up because this is a win. A hell of a ride. Uh, 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 the last ride. I gotta be drinking. Tell me I'm the drinking. Oh my goodness. With that being said, guys, please. If you like to do that, like, subscribe, share, share, and I'll see you in the next video.